What caused the American Civil War? That's a complicated question, and one that many people still argue and disagree about today. After the American Revolution, the regions of the new country grew, but in different ways. Although there were still lots of farms in the North, it became an increasingly industrial society where many people lived in cities with factories. Although there was some industry in the South, it remained mostly agricultural with few people, over a third of whom were enslaved. Northern states had gradually abolished or gotten rid of slavery while it remained legal in the South. In the 1850s, the big question was what to do about all the land in the West when it was settled and carved up into new states. Northerners wanted territories in the West admitted as free states, while Southerners wanted them to become slave states. In 1854, a new political party called the Republicans didn't want slavery in the Western territories. In 1860, their candidate, Abraham Lincoln, was elected president of the United States. Many white Southerners were upset by Lincoln's election because they believed they had the right to take their slaves to the West if they moved there. They also feared that as the number of free states grew, Congress would vote to abolish slavery altogether. Some Southerners began to claim their states had the right to secede or break away from the United States, which was also called the Union. They wanted to become a new country. That's exactly what happened in December 1860 when South Carolina became the first state to secede. Six other southern states followed, and in February 1861, they formed the Confederate States of America. At first, Virginia voted to remain in the Union. It wasn't until South Carolina attacked a Union fort off its coast called Fort Sumter that war actually began. Now Virginia was forced to decide which side it would fight with, and after voting a second time, it chose to join the Confederacy. Even after secession, 50 counties in western Virginia refused to leave the Union, and in 1863 became the state of West Virginia. How do you think a war in Virginia would affect your community?